What's happening, my YouTube peeps? Hey, quick shout out to John, youtube.com slash ninja I recommend checking out his channel, he's an awesome dude. So, in this video, I kind of would just want to talk while you're watching me squat right over there to the left. I want to talk about my strength gains, but also the hypertrophy work, the hypertrophy kind of gains that I've been making on the Wendler 531, or my version of Wendler 531, since um, I kind of have customized it recently. So a lot of people either criticize Wendler 531, or they don't do it, or, or they immediately assume that there's no hypertrophy work. They immediately assume that it's a powerlifting program, and that's it. And they think all I do is sets of five, three, or a combination of five, three, one, something like that. Okay, which is all true. I do. I do do five. I do sets with like five reps. I do sets of three reps, and sometimes I work my way up to maxes, and I hit do PRs. Um, a lot of people don't realize that I do plenty of sets of ten. Plenty of sets of ten. Okay, so we're gonna use squatting as an example, and I want to actually physically show you, you know some of the numbers and this might really excite some of you guys and it might it maybe convince you to trap this program or, or give you some sort of uh, comfort knowing that I'm doing hypertrophy work and that you could probably are you could be doing hypertrophy work if you were doing this program and um, maybe to those who are doing this program you'll be like oh man no worries so you know I've been doing this for nine months now and in this video, you're watching me do sets of five, and I work my way up to 85% of my max, which currently is, I, I need to look at my papers real quick. I think it's like four, 465 for the squat, okay? So for example, in this video, I work my way up to 395 pounds for five. Now, if you wanna look at the strength gains, let's go back to my first week of my first month, okay? And I was working with a 370 max. So my maxes are, Mm, okay, almost a hundred pounds heavier now. Okay, so almost a hundred pounds heavier for my squat. That doesn't exactly mean that my sets are a hundred pounds heavier. No, that does not mean that my sets are a hundred pounds heavier. Since you know you're working with percentages for your sets, you don't you know a, a raise to your max isn't a direct raise to your weights since you work with percentages. So. Although my max is raised practically 100 pounds, my sets of five nine months ago is in 100 pounds less than what it is now. So today, or in this video, you saw me, you're watching me work my way up to 395 for five. But nine months ago, or on my first week, first month, I hit 315 for five, five plus. I'm not really sure. So um, if you look at that strength gain, that's I'm, I'm working with 80 pounds more now. Um, than I did about nine months ago. And that's with sets of five. So in case you're wondering how the progression with hypertrophy is, let me explain to you, okay? So in this video, actually, I usually back squat for five sets of 10 um, at least once a month, okay? And I also front squat with five sets of 10 at least once a month. My, my percentages are different. I usually work with 60% for front squat. I'm sorry, 60% for back squat. 50% for the uh, front squat because, you know, front squats are harder, back squats are easier. So um, you want to take a look at what I did back in the day, back when I started. So with the 370 max, I was basically doing 225 pound uh, back squats for five sets of 10, 225 pounds. But if we jump forward and see what I'm doing now for the back squats, which I do at least once a month in high rep, my new max is about 465, I believe it was, 465 times 0.6. I'm now working with, it says 280, but I think I've been doing 285. I'm working with 285, okay? So you can compare those numbers. Basically, 225 with 285. And imagine that at least once a month, I've been hitting five sets of 10 of 225, and it's been slowly working its way up to five sets of 10 of 285, similar tempo. And, and I mean, just imagine the muscle gains that you can be making with that kind of rep range, that kind of progression. And even with the front squats, in the beginning, I was probably, I, I think I was doing 185 pounds for five sets of 10. And now it's 465 times 0.5, basically 225 pound 
front squats, five sets of 10. So there was a 40 pound jump in the front squats for five sets of 10. And in the back squats, there was an even larger jump. Um, so, so that just gives you a little bit of, you know, perspective on what kind of hypertrophy work I'm doing as far as squatting goes. I mean, similar situation for the bench pressing and military pressing and all the other stuff. I'm not just working in, you know, the super low rep ranges. I'm also doing sets of 10, five sets of 10. And that weight has been progressing this whole time. So, I mean, if you imagine that you do this program for one to two years, okay, your max max lifts in terms of your one rep maxes are you know grow according to the formula five pounds per month for the upper, ten pounds per month for the lower. So that gives you a total of possibly at, at most or you know usually some people make extra jumps. Some people might screw up you know miss a few lifts. You know you're going to be getting sixty pounds for the upper body since you multiply twelve months for five pounds. Sixty pounds added to say your military press. Or your bench press, considering you uh, didn't jump forward or you didn't fall behind. And likewise, you know, 10 pounds for the lower body lifts times 12 months, that's 120 pounds to the maximal lifts. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot. And I mean, I, I wouldn't say you'd probably be able to go two years without ever screwing up or, you know, having to actually stop or make a, take a few steps back. But um, imagine, you know, two years, 240 pounds to the lower, you know, lower lifts, 120 pounds to the upper lifts. Um, most people, the majority, the vast majority of people probably won't be, wouldn't be able to do that. But I mean, that's a lot added to those maximal lifts. Now, the hypertrophy ranges, they definitely, it's not a one-to-one -one correlation. It's not a one-to-one, -one, um, uh, you know, jump. It's, it's, it's less. So... Two years from now, I might be working with, you know, let's just say 340 pound, uh, maybe 330, 340 pound, five sets of 10, okay? Since right now, I'm working with about 285 for five sets of 10 on back squats. Um, just, I mean, it's something to consider uh, if you haven't been doing this program that you are doing a ton of higher rep work mixed with a ton of strength work. And overall, there's just a shitload of benefits. Um, I just wanted to share this information with you guys in case, uh, for whatever reason, I mean, for however this may help you, okay? So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it all made sense that my high rep work has been progressing over these last nine months. And of course, my strength rep range work has been increasing over these last nine months. And overall, that equals to bigger one rep maxes. It equals to bigger muscles. Okay? That's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace. Equip me, little bitch. Ogus cake.